and assessing exactly where that plastic waste was coming from. Michigan's latest project, Sungai, or River Watch, also aims to collect data alongside plastic waste. He plans to install 100 trash barriers on Bali's waterways over the next year. So we set up 10 trash barriers now in our pilot village of Tibu Benang and Changu, and we felt that you know, there was a need for a monitoring platform out there to track in real time how our cleanups were going. The barriers themselves are pretty low tech. From floating trash booms made from PVC pipe and steel mesh, to metal blocks covered with bamboo. Every day they take waste to a sorting station where it is washed, cataloged, and sent off for recycling. An interactive platform stores data on the trash they collect to hold brands accountable to the plastic they produce. But the flood of trash is greater than measured. My little moaner groaner, huh? Moan, groan, purr, we do it all. But more just can't do. To enlist a global team in his river cleanup efforts, Benshigan is making the technology open source. By fully making these solutions freely available for anybody to build, other groups will be able to collaborate with other groups to share knowledge on how to build. Um, and for people with cultural to share their experience with us. 10 down, 90 to go. Benshigan is building a cleaner future for Bali one river at a time. Elsewhere in Indonesia, an entrepreneur hopes to cut down on plastic use in the first place. He's turning to Indonesia's very shores for a solution. 27-year-old David Christian was born in Indonesia. In 2015, he returned from studying business in Canada. That's when the police...